<laughs> yeah, well, that was Mr. Henry Henderson, the headmaster of Eden College, describing just how elegant episode 4 was for Spy Family. And episode 4 came out a few days ago on Crunchyroll, and if you are a subscriber to Crunchyroll and are looking for a very cute and very comical series, this one is a very good one, and you should go check it out if you haven't yet. But in any case, yeah, episode 4. Episode 4 continues on with Operation Strix, and we finally get to Eden College where they are about to have the interview exam. And this is a very hilarious episode because it is the parallel to chapter 4 in the manga. But what I didn't realize was it would also cover chapter 5. And so not only does it get the very comical side of chapter 4, which covers the walking into Eden College and watching Mr. Henderson go through the various animated descriptions of elegance, but it also covers chapter 5, which goes into a very sentimental time during the actual interview itself. And because the two chapters go hand in hand, I think the animators did a really good job in combining the two chapters for this particular episode. And I really enjoyed the voice actor for Mr. Henderson. He is voiced by a gentleman named Kazuhiro Yamaji. And Mr. Yamaji is a very veteran voice actor who has not only come out in various animations, but he has also come out in live action film as well as theater. Um, probably the most notable voice acting up till now for Western audiences is when he voiced Uranus Hankai from Gintama, as well as Bang or Silver Fox from One Punch Man. And so his voice often is given as the more mature sort of voice in a situation, and I think it was really appropriate for Mr. Henderson. And so yeah, this was extremely hilarious because not only does Lloyd think of this as a mission, and the beginning of the episode shows him preparing Yor and Anya the way he would prepare a team going into a covert operation. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty good. And of course, every character's personality comes out. Now, it was probably a good thing that Lloyd prepared the family as if it was a mission because when they get to the college and they're walking in, Lloyd realizes that he's being watched. Originally, he thinks that it is an enemy spy faction, but later on, he realizes that it is actually the college testing them already as they walk in. And so now knowledge of the fact that he's being watched <laughs> they go overboard to make sure that mr henderson sees just how elegant this family is i love the part where they are saluting the statue of the founder of the school and you get to see what they're thinking about and of course lloyd is thinking strategically about the mission and how this is a appropriate gesture to show just how respectful they are to the college. But <laughs> Yor and Anya's responses are so appropriate to the character that it is hilarious. And I love the one action point that Yor got to show during this episode when she took down that one rampaging bull. And that was a joy to see. It was nice in the comic, but of course, because the anime has the advantage of real animation, music, and color, it was done in a really, really good way. So good job with Studios and Cloverworks. And the continuous, almost ridiculous acts of elegance turns Mr. Henderson into a fan of the Forgers. And with that, we get into the chapter 5 part of this episode, which is the actual interview itself. And although it's really comical, the anime took a really much more dramatic point. They took the point of the feel section when that one jerk of an examiner started asking some seriously nasty questions. 
And they emphasize the drama that came out of it, which I think was very well done. The part that especially hit you in the feels was when the examiner asked Anya, which mother did she love more, your or her first mother? Now this, of course, from the examiner's perspective, he's thinking about the supposed first mother that Lloyd was supposed to have as a first wife. But of course, from Anya's perspective, it becomes a comparison between your and her original mother. And for whatever happened, the response that comes out of Anya are tears coming down her face. And it is done in a very dramatic manner. And not only does it hit you in the feels, it does give a very good foreshadowing to understand that there must have been some very traumatic moments between Anya and her original mother. And so it'll be interesting to see how Tatsuya Endo takes this story when we eventually get to the backstory of Anya. But in any case, the dramatic scenes at the very end were really good. And once the interview is over and we see some very dramatic moments between Mr. Henderson and that examiner, we cut to, of course, the Folger family when they come back home. And of course, they are devastated because they feel they have failed the exam. And that part is really well emphasized in the anime. It's just a little bit glossed over in the manga. But in the anime, they dwell upon that sadness for quite a while. And I thought it was really well done because once again, it emphasizes the family values with regards to this anime. And how despite them being a fake family, their care for each other is extremely genuine. And that is probably one of the big awe moments that you often see from the reactors who are watching the anime, is that despite this being a covert and espionage sort of situation, the family values that come out and the genuine care that each one of these characters has is real. So episode 4 turns out to be a very good episode, both in terms of comedy as well as in terms of sentimental feelings. And of course, we will get to episode 5, <laughs> which is a very kind of lighthearted and kind of a very unusual episode. And so, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to look forward to. And then eventually we should move on further into Operation Strix. So anyway, this is the episode 4 discussion for Spy Family. If you saw it, what'd you think of it? And if you can leave a comment in the comment section below, I appreciate it. But thank you very much for watching this video. And until the next one, happy anime watching. And as always, Jan, nice day everyone.